left and the one on the right. He has so much more movement options with his float and a thing, uh, just something to reset his float and his double jump. So he can definitely move. Oh, up smash, mm. almost connecting. Uh oh, almost. Oh, man, that the almost snipe. <laughs> Another Sora snipe. is putting on the pressure. This is looking really scary for T right now. Okay. All right. Really good utilization of those platforms. And he just falls on top of him with the forward air. Yo, oh, Sansora is weaving in these platforms now. I don't know if this is a good counter pick. Oh, wow, the power shield. Uh oh, footstool. Oh, footstool. Oh, oh, man. He doesn't float. You want to do a float cancel Nair? All right, up bomb up air is not going to be enough. T is trying to snatch this stock before it gets too out of control. Second hit before you're going to send the opposite trajectory. Let's see what the edge guard is here. Not going to catch the neutral, but great pivot grab. No, not the percentage where you can easily connect that. Does keep him in the open jab. Oh, oh my goodness, man. that was just a boomerang setup. <laughs> you don't see those every day. Oh, look at the pressure though. Yeah, right now Samsora just rolling yeah. out of the corner. He had to get out of there. Yeah, yeah holding block there with Snogget's about oh, but up man. till catching him while he's grounded. All right, One seven percent. We're in game five. Seven percent, I'll take it. Let's see who can win this one. This one will decide who's third and fourth in the pool and who gets bean boozled on screen. Please, team. Oh, he gets the boomerang, rides right into him with the neutral air. All right, I mean, T hasn't even laid damage yet. Oh, as I say, 10%. Yes, keep cursing Samsora. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice third up to the catch the approach. All right, Samsora kind of getting trapped here in the corner. Oh, my God. Oh, the perfect shields are out. Oh, man. Samsora's got to be careful of how he lands. He's racking it up slowly but surely. But attack by Fortier, you don't want to get in this spot where you're getting walled by Fortier off stage. Samsora's movement is so crazy. Oh, oh. They're both going for it. Oh, man, that forward smash might have ended it. That move is so strong. Okay. Find the pressure for the bomb trap on the platform. He's putting himself in a rough spot. Really risky tether grab. Oh, this oh, is the, the bomb, the bomb wow. follow up. Oh, catches the jump. Okay. Really but good Samsora. maneuverability from Samsora, though. Getting back to the center stage. Oh, right off that grab range, but that grab was so risky. Oh, he's gonna recover here. I feel like if T does oh. get a grab, it could be game. Oh, 4 one Seeing him off stage. Not gonna get the bomb snipe. Since we're holding the explosion, use it to his advantage, but look at that quick nair. The next big oh, play no. will be the stock. Samsor is trapped in the oh, corner. Oh, look at the crazy hit on the forwarder. Oh, oh my gets god. The grab. The off stage, See? though. Get the, no! oh, but he gets the neutral beat, oh, and no! that will be it. Samsora takes it over T. Oh my God, Her first no. three. Oh, oh good stuff to Samsora, no. man. I always believed you. Ever since the set started, oh, I always had faith. T, why? I'm so mad about that grazing hit of Ford That would have killed. <laughs> We need the replay on that forward air. I mean, to be fair, he calculated spacing. He get was just like, yeah, you get know, I'll here. be right, like, out of pixel and, like, not get hit by this. Then I'll get the grab and close out. Yeah. Good right. replay from this, this set here. Really here's is being forward air. And here's another one. Oh, no, doesn't connect. Here's the team. You know, showing the forward air of his own. Both these characters have amazing forward air. Oh, look at the bomb. Oh, wow, goodness. and that's from a Z drop bomb, too. Very, very good stuff coming out from T. Yeah, they both have such good item play with the characters. Oh, yeah, and it, to see both of them use each other's items, too, that was really, really fun to watch. The down throw, up air. Okay, setting up another bomb here. Catch it all. Oh, wow, that, what a comeback. And just being able to kill a so low percentage, especially on that smash goal. Okay, there's the up smash, yep. Oh, excellent stuff coming out from Sansora. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this was a oh, of the right was video here. Oh, oh, wow, he like killed him off the black one too. That was crazy. Yeah, and he almost set up a kill right there with that boomerang. Yes. Oh, oh wow, this is like you are doing Oh, there's the battle after that grazing fair. Setting up for the so edge guard, forcing T to use oh Uppy gosh. and getting oh, him Even the bomb couldn't save him. That's so, so good. All right, so we're going to throw it back to Gunblade up at the analysis. What do you guys think about this set? All right, group A. Crazy sets, man. Yeah. What a way to start out the 2GG championship. Yeah, man, the, the, a winner of group A is Ken coming through with that Sonic. Just being as consistent as possible. And then the buzz gets second in group A. 
Still in the playoff. Yeah. Has, has some work to do. Yes, he does. Yeah, third place in Group A is Samsora T. Great showing with the fourth place. That's some crazy hype sets, man. Oh, yes. All four of these players put on a great show, but the story here is Ken winning. Uh, right now, though, we're going to go down to Sorla's Bar with Swar to talk a little bit about Group B. Wow. So, Ken, congratulations. Exceeded all expectations, but at the same time, fulfilled a couple prophecies there. Happy to say, Ken advances, but looking at Group B, we have a very interesting semi rivalry actually from two fellows also from Japan. We have Abadango and Komura Kiri. Now, what's very uh, interesting here is that Komura Kiri being from the Kansai region, Abba being from the Kansai region, both these players don't exactly fight each other a lot when it comes to playing in Japan. Their last encounter was actually at Narasaga. Did you see Narasaga when they first, or not, sorry, when they last met, Abadango actually took out Koma. However, when we're looking at this group with Nairo, Captain Zack, and the two of them, Nairo being lauded as the Japan Slayer, Captain Zack being Aside from fabulous, very unpredictable. Both of these players, Como and Abadango, have a 25% win rate against everybody else in their group. When we're looking at this, that means that Como's 2-6 against this group, while Abba's 3-9. Looking at that together, it's kind of hard to see who's going to advance ahead from each other. But when we look at the results, I mean, Como has it all. Como this year has had a very successful run. His PGR last season obviously shows that, and this season he has a lot to show for as well. Fifth at Arm Saga, third at Fire Emblem Saga. Just some of the results that he has to boast against Abadongo, who had a fifth at Genesis very early in the year. And again, with the character crisis and the meta shifting, his Mewtwo being figured out a little bit, he did have a little, you know, struggle there. But for both of these players, I'd like to highlight just the fact that they're kind of neck and neck within their group. Seeing one over advance the other would be a treat for Japan as this man just took group A with 10 advancing. So, I don't know. What do you think, Gumblin? Abadango or Como? I'm going to pass it up back to the studio. Thanks. All right, thanks a lot, Swar, for that. But let's just take a little bit of a uh, look about group A one more time, man. Ken, first place, left in the right side for the buzz. Second place, Still in the playoff with a 2 1 record in the pool. Samsora 1 2 with a 3 0 comeback against T. T Falling 0 3 in, in the group A. But an amazing showing, man. End the game 5. Samsora going to game 5. Let's talk a little bit about some of these sets. Uh, fam, what stood out to you during group A? I mean, I think what stood out to me most of all is just how we're finding this off in play. And his Don is the only person who seemed to actually give him some struggle with ironically his own country man. <laughs> Three two is someone he has dominated mm -hmm. you know, for the entirety of the standing. So it's really great stuff from Ken. Like we said, he was the favorite to come out on top. The buzz was looking kind of shaky in certain situations. But having the buzz in the playoffs, that to me is scary. I know a lot of people right now are looking at him. This guy's win rate, like Suarez has already said. 80 plus. This guy means business. Having that guy in the playoffs, you have to go to toe to toe. That's gonna be a hard one. All right, Silent, do it quickly. Now, personally, I was very impressed with how he was playing throughout this entire bracket. Yeah. Even though he didn't make it through to the playoffs, he really put on a good show. Yeah, I think he did. A lot of people probably thought, oh, he's gonna get 3 0 by Ken, he's gonna get 3 0 by the Buzz, he's gonna get the And yet, he took games off of everybody. Had he beaten Samsora, he would have had more games of rule than Samsora. You know, he, he, he did see the 3 2 versus Ken, 3 2 versus Samsora, and 3 1 versus Buzz. So, really, really strong going. And again, showing off just how scary Link can be. Yeah. So, good thoughts, guys. Group A was amazing. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about Group B. Either caramel corn or moldy cheese. I'm actually not really fond of caramel corn either, but I'm sure it's better than moldy cheese. <laughs> caramel corn. <laughs> <laughs>
save six hundred dollars on car insurance, so being blue comes naturally. Hmm. I can't decide if this place is swag or bling. Ladies, you know when you switch, you get my mom ticket and discounts automatically. No duh, right? Sir, you forgot. Keep it. You're gonna need it when I make it for Super Tape. I'm really interested to know what our new casters down in the arena are going to say about Group B. We got Sedgehog and Pierce 70 on the mic for Group B. Let's send it down to them and see what they have to say. Thanks so much, Gumblade. It is great to be back behind the mic. Joined here by Sedgehog. Sedgehog, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing very, very well, Pierce, and I'm absolutely excited to see how Group B is going to do for us because we've got a lot of potentially very close sets coming up in the next couple of uh, games that we're going to be seeing. Yeah, I mean, first of all, you got Koma Kiri versus Abadango, you know, and I'm sure somebody's mentioned this already, but these guys do not actually get to play a lot in Japan. They're on opposite sides of the country, so getting to see them square off here on the American soil is going to be really exciting, but everything about the group is exciting. It's just a strictly explosive group. I mean, you can't say the name Nairo without just talking about people blowing up. You can't say the name Captain Zap without talking about people stop just popping off. I mean, what are you expecting to come out of this group? Who do you think is going to take uh, Obviously, I think that Nairo might be one of the favorites to do very well, <laughs> just based off of recently how well he's been doing, like every single time he's been in bracket. However, there's a couple dark horses I see, like Captain Zack. I know he's been kind of struggling for his standards recently, but he could definitely take so much. Uh, and he could definitely take sets off of, say, Abadango. He could do well versus Nairo. And we've seen him do well against all of these different players. So yeah, this is yeah. definitely one of those where pretty much anyone can go 3 or 0-3. Oh, so it'll be exciting to see it for sure. That's definitely been something that I've really, really loved throughout the entire weekend. Uh, because I really feel that it's anyone's game right now. So we're going to actually take a look at the numbers and see statistically who's coming out on top. Let's go to uh, Sage. Uh, excuse me. Let's, uh, let's go back up to the desk upstairs and then we'll, we'll get that checked out. All right, thanks a lot, Pierce and Seth. It's so weird not being right next to Pierce. Right? Oh, this is <laughs> Sam. Is that right, Sage? <laughs> I agree, Sage. I totally agree. <laughs> but. Group B is going to be awesome, man. As they mentioned downstairs, a lot of explosive play. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you guys really quick predictions. Who takes Group B? Come on, man. NRG Nairo, dude. Let's go. What do you want to, you just wanted to hear me say it. That's all you wanted. Gosh. I'm smiling at you the whole time. Like, this guy better say it, man. This guy better say it. <laughs> and honestly, I've got to agree with him, man. Nairo is definitely the favorite in this group, but who out of these? 